Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. The barotropic vorticity equation assumes the atmosphere is nearly barotropic, which means that the direction and speed of the geostrophic wind are independent of height. In other words, there is no vertical wind shear of the geostrophic wind. It also implies that thickness contours, a proxy for temperature, are parallel to upper level height contours. In this type of atmosphere, high and low pressure areas are centers of warm and cold temperature anomalies. Warm core highs such as the subtropical ridge and the Bermudazores high and cold core lows have strengthening winds with height, with the reverse true for cold core highs, shallow arctic highs, and warm core lows such as tropical cyclones. A simplified form of the vorticity equation for an inviscid, divergence-free flow, solenoidal velocity field. The barotropic vorticity equation can simply be stated as d a to dt equals zero, where d slash dt is the material derivative and eta equals zeta plus f is absolute vorticity, with zeta being relative vorticity. Defined as the vertical component of the curl of the fluid velocity and f is the Coriolis parameter f equals two ohm sin phi where omega is. The angular frequency of the planet's rotation, omega equals 0 0.7272 times 10 minus 4 as minus 1 for the Earth, and phi is latitude. In terms of relative vorticity, the equation can be rewritten as d zeta dt equals minus v beta, where beta equals del f slash del y is the variation of the Coriolis parameter with distance y in the north, south direction, and v is the component of velocity in this direction. In 1950, Charney, Fjortoft, and von Neumann integrated this equation with an added diffusion term on the right-hand side on a computer for the first time using an observed field of 500 HPA geopotential height for the first-time step. This was one of the first successful instances of numerical weather prediction. 